For the sign of Cancer, hello and welcome to my channel. I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be and then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Cancer, the recent past energy between you and your person, Nine of Wands, and it's with the Nine of Pentacles. Now, the Nine of Wands, when this card comes up, usually... The first and the best step is often to take a deep breath. Calm down. Don't let things that you're worried about overwhelm you. Take it one day at a time. One hour at a time if you can do so. And I say this because when you get the Nine of Wands, at least some of your worries, they'll likely turn out to be imaginary. So... Try to get very specific on what you're afraid of and pick it apart. Ask yourself what's the true likelihood of the worry actually happening. Now it's with the Nine of Pentacles, which is one of the most uplifting, encouraging cards in the deck. This can mean that your financial worries, they're over for a while and that things in general will be going better than you thought ever possible. So enjoy this good energy. Share your wealth. Share your happiness with others. So Nine of Wands clarified by this Nine of Pentacles for the recent past energy. Well, this is telling me that you closed yourself off, Cancer. Yeah, because Nine of Wands, the card above the word pass, this this type of person or this type of energy it's a not budging it's a it's a not bulging energy it's a no one gets past my barricade type of energy so you closed yourself off to your to this person because you wanted a good relationship not in the pentacles you get a good relationship or you, you could have wanted the connection to go to the next level. And it didn't. So you told this person to back off. But let's see what's coming up for the two of you. We've got this Four of Cups. And it's with the Death. It's with the Death card. Now the Four of Cups. With this one. It's a card about wishful thinking. It warns us to remember, to pay, to pay attention to what is now. Count your many blessings that we each currently experience. And not to worry too much about what could be. Because it's really easy to overlook what we already have in pursuit of what we don't have. So be sure that you're counting your blessings. And don't spend too much time in self-pity or wishing your life away. Because a lot of life, it actually has to do with where we put our focus. So try to put your focus on things and people in your life that you have to be thankful for. So it's with the death card. This death card is below the word present. The death card, keep in mind, it does not necessarily or even usually indicate physical death. In fact, it's considered irresponsible for readers to predict physical death because we're all creatures with free will and such things are not written in stone. The death card, it simply indicates transformation and change. Definitely a time of deep transformation could be both internally and externally. Maybe some situations or things and people that you come on or have gotten used to may no longer be available to you in quite the same way as they once were. Now this transition, it can be very difficult for some people, even though the change is nearly always needed. So coming up, Cancer, Four of Cups clarified by the Death card. So like I said, you wanted a good relationship 
with your person or you just wanted it to go to the next level you didn't get that so you close yourself off to this person but coming up it's it's looking like you could um finally come to a conclusion yeah you could, with death card it's about coming it can be about coming to a conclusion it can be about losing interest it can be about um, finality but I'm getting that you're finally coming to a conclusion. Yeah, that maybe this, this, this needed to, I don't know, for some of you, you could be thinking about ending it. Um, because it's with the Four of Cups, um, yeah, you were not accepting what your person was offering you. Because you wanted the Nine of Pentacles. If you can't have the Ten of Pentacles, which is everything, the Ten of Pentacles is the tops. If you couldn't get the Nine of Pentacles out of your person, then you just were not accepting what they were offering. Now that's coming up, so you could just be realizing that you needed um, something better than what they were offering. Whatever they were offering you with the Four of Cups here, the card above the word present, it made you feel devalued and unloved. So coming up, you're coming to a conclusion. Yeah, you're just really losing interest. So Let's move on over. Let's see what the challenge is. We got the moon and it's with judgment. Okay, so the moon card is a card above the word challenge. With this one, you could start to feel psychic, intuitive, more than usual. So it's important for you to trust your instincts, trust your impressions, even if you're not sure where it's coming from. Yeah, also. Also, not that you need to be mistrusting, but it, it's going to be helpful for you to realize that when this card appears, it's possible that all is not what it seems. So if you feel you cannot trust someone, then you probably cannot go with your gut instincts. And if you're waiting on an answer from someone, well, unfortunately, when you get the moon card, it could take longer than you would like for it to. So it's important to try to stay focused. Try to stay patient. Now it's with judgment, which is a card about jumping to conclusions, decisions, and of course judgments that are made too hastily. So if you're prone to doing such things, it can be a sign to slow down, give things more thought, give people more chances, maybe, or maybe not. But this could be a time of spiritual awakening. When you get judgment in a reading. So your challenge, Cancer of the Moon, clarified by judgment. Yeah, like I said, you're coming to a conclusion. You didn't, you didn't like the way this person, or maybe coming up, you just don't like the way they make you feel. Devalued and unloved, and you're just not accepting, accepting it anymore maybe you did before but you're closing yourself off to this you realize you need a good relationship now the challenge because the moon card is here your person because the judgment and the moon card is here your person could be feeling like um they could be wanting you to uh, um forget Forgive them, because judgment can be about not forgiving. So they could be thinking that you um, are not forgiving, and you need to be, but you feel like this person brings um, maybe some deception here. Maybe you had a hard time um, trusting what they say. Or the things that they do. Because the moon card can be about deception, lies. It can be about um, not trusting 
the situation or the person. You could feel like your person is wearing a mask. But they feel like you're too judgmental. You just need to forgive. Forgive and let it go. Well, let's move on over. Let's see what the outcome is. Okay, so we got this Three of Swords. And it's with the King of Pentacles. Now, Three of Swords, there's an element of sorrow when you get this card. And it's undeniable. But what's on the other side of this sadness can be enhanced understanding and joy. So allow yourself to fully experience any sadness that comes up. This way, you'll be able to move past it. This card, it can point to a deep emotional issue that needs to be addressed before you can move on. Yeah, because if you deny any pain, it will not make it go away. So, like I said, make sure to allow yourself to experience any sadness or pain that comes up. This way you can move past it, but make sure you don't wallow in it. You do not and should not wallow in grief for long periods of time. However, you're the only one who can decide how long is long enough, and others will not be able to do this for you. Now, it's with the King of Pentacles, which speaks of authority, tradition, it speaks about success. It could be success with money matters. Because whenever you hear the word pinnacles in the tarot, that indicates money, cash, coins, finance, income. Now, when this king of pinnacles appear in a reading, it's a sign that now is really not the time to be a maverick, but it's the time to follow the established way of doing things. So when it stands for actual person in your life, it can refer to a very masculine type, could have dark hair, dark eyes, but it could go either way. And if it's referring to a man in your life, um, King of Pentacles is the type that you can believe and trust absolutely. Yeah, the King of Pentacles is a good, really good energy. This King of Pentacles makes a good father, very stable type, secure type of energy. So the outcome, three of swords, clarified by the King of Pentacles. So, um, Cancer, your person, they could be reaching out to you, wanting forgiveness, but you're being very judgmental, very judgmental, and you just haven't, you can't forgive them this time. You think you could be thinking they're lying, or they're deceptive. Um, they could be reaching out to you wanting success with you, with the King of Pentacles here. But you think it's going to lead to heartbreak? You gonna, you, you, yeah. This Three of Swords is about being hurt. Relationship difficulty. It's about rejection. Shutting each other out. Severing ties. So yeah, you... You still want to close yourself off to this person, but they they do want success with you. King of Pentacles is all about having success. They want success with you. You think it's just going to cause more heartbreak than you've been through with this person. So, Cancer, that's the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Cancer, thanks so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Let us all thank God things are not worse than we know they could be. So hang in there. Stay strong. Take good care. Come back and join me for the next Cancer reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, don't forget, keep in mind, the roles of the people can be switched. Yes, they can be reversed, meaning you could be your person or your person could be you. 
And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, could be a family member, or a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates, because once again, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So Cancer, I can never say it enough. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. And take care. And take care. And take care.